Paris, it's me again, Scarlett, your life secretary from Team Vlogmas. So, our topic for today is about social distancing. Social distancing is also called physical distancing. Means keeping space between yourself and other people outside of your home. To practice social and physical distancing, stay at least 6 feet or 2 meters away from other people. Do not gather in groups. Stay out of crowded places and avoid mass gatherings. In addition to everyday steps to prevent the COVID-19, keeping space between you and other people is one of the best tools to prevent being exposed to the virus and slowing need to spread locally and across the country. When COVID-19 is spreading in your area, everyone should limit close contact with other people. Since people can spread the virus before they know they are sick, it is important to stay away from others when possible, even if you have no symptoms. Social distancing is especially important for people who are at a higher risk of getting very sick. Why practice social distancing? COVID-19 spreads mainly among people who are in close contacts, within about 6 feet for a prolonged period. Spread happen when an affected person cough, sneeze, or talks, and droplets from their mouth or nose are launched into the air and land in the mouths or noses of people nearby. The droplets can also be inhaled into the lungs. Recent studies indicate that people who are infected but do not have symptoms likely also play a role in the spread of COVID-19. It may be possible that a person can get COVID-19 by touching a surface or object that has the virus on it and then touching their own mouth, nose, or eyes. However, it is not enough or tough to be the main way that the virus spread. COVID-19 can live for hours or days on a surface, depending on factors such as the sunlight and humidity. Social distancing helps limit contacts with infected people and contaminated surfaces. Although the risk of severe illness may be different for everyone, everyone can get spread of COVID-19. COVID-19 has a role to play in slowing the spread and protecting themselves, their family, and their community. So tips for social distancing. Follow guidelines from authorities where you live. If you need to shop for food or medicine at the grocery store or pharmacy, stay at least 6 feet away from other people. Use mail order for medications, if possible. Consider a grocery delivery services. Cover your mouth and nose with a cloth. Face cover when around others, including when you have to go in the public. For example, into the grocery store, supermarket, or outside the, out, outside your household. Stay at least 6 feet between yourself and others even, you, even when you are wearing a face mask. Avoid large and small gatherings in private places, public spaces such as friends' house, parks, restaurants, shops, or any other place. This advice applies to people of any age, including teens and younger adults. Children should not have in-person play dates while school is out. To help maintain social connections while social distancing, learn tips to keep children healthy while school's out. Work from home when possible. If possible, avoid using any kind of public transportation ride sharing or taxis if you are a student or a parent talk to your school about options of digital or distance learning stay connected while staying away it is very important to stay in touch with friends and family that don't live in your home call video chat or stay connected using social media everyone reacts differently to stressful situations and having to socially distance yourself from someone you love can be difficult. Read tips for stress and coping. So what is the difference 
the difference between quarantine and isolation. Quarantine. Quarantine is used to keep someone who might have been exposed to COVID-19. Someone in self-quarantine stays separated from others and they limit movement outside of the home or current place. A person may have been exposed to the virus without knowing without knowing it. For example, when traveling or out in the community. Or they could have the virus without feeling symptoms. Quarantine, quarantine helps limit further spread of the coronavirus. While isolation, isolation is used to separate sick people from healthy people. People who are in isolation should stay home. In the home, anyone sick should separate themse- themselves from others by staying in a specific sick bedroom or space in space using a different bathroom, if possible. So, uh, that's it guys. Uh, I hope you learned something on, on how important is social distancing to end and avoid the coronavirus. So, thank you for watching and... I hope you like it. Um, Till my next vlog guys. Thank you.